Back when Rainbow Six Siege released in 2016, there was not a huge selection of operators to play as. Not including Recruit, each side had 10 playable operators to choose from, making a total of 20 operators to play as. Which at the time seems like a decent number, I mean after all, only 5 people are on a team at any given time. So there's more than enough characters to choose from. But as the years have gone by, more and more operators have been added to Siege. And as of Year 3 Season 3, there's a total of 42 different operators to play as. 21 on attack, and 21 on defense. More than enough variety for any type of player. But as time goes on, more operators are put into the game. We've even heard the devs say that they'd love to see over 100 unique operators in the game. With a bold statement like that, one question lingers in the back of my mind. When will they run out of ideas? Or rather, when will they run out of unique ideas? With the large varieties of operators we have now, you have many different options to choose from that best suit your playstyle. You're not really just limited to one or two operators. No, you have a larger selection of ops that will perform similar roles in any given scenario. But how many operators can we have that have abilities or gadgets that are just different enough from one another, and at what point will they just blend together? When will the community start to get annoyed with the new operators they add into the game? Like I said, you have a large selection of operators to choose from that have similar roles and gadgets. If you need to be able to break down soft walls or barriers, well that's no problem at all. You can choose from Sledge, Ash, Buck, or Zofia. All of these operators can destroy soft walls, and everybody but Buck can destroy a castle barrier with their gadget. Do you need to get through reinforced walls? Easy. No problem. You got Thermite, Habana, and Maverick. Someone to be able to destroy gadgets that are going to prevent heart breaches? Will you have Thatcher and Twitch? Need to slow someone on the attacking side with traps? You got Frost, Capcan, Lesion, Smoke, Ella, and Echo. Some of these gadgets are lethal, and some are just a minor inconvenience that will most likely just force the defenders to take a step back and slow down a little bit. My point is... We have so many different operators to choose from in each role. While we have some operators who are as of right now one of a kind like Glaz, IQ, Pulse, and even Kavera, how many different variations of similar things can we get before getting bored? How many different types of hard breachers can we have in the game before the only difference we really do care about is how good their primary and secondary weapons are? How many different trap operators will we get before they just start to blend together and seem like one and the same? There is only so many ideas that the human mind can come up with. I myself can only think of a few operator ideas in my head that I would love to see in this game that would be balanced and work well. If you go into the Rainbow Six subreddit, you'll for sure see some operator ideas suggested by the community. Some are good balanced, and would work well in the game, something I would like to see, and some are just plain useless or blatantly overpowered. I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that the Rainbow Six team already has a ton of ideas finalized, and many more on the drawing board, and I'm sure they have people designated just to figuring out what type of operators they'd like to see in the game. I just hope that they can figure out a way to keep adding new operators while still having them feel fresh and like brand new additions to the game. Not just a rework of an already existing gadget. How far will they go? How many amazing ideas does the team have? We'll just have to wait and see what the future holds. And that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. How many operators do you think that the team can come up with before they start to blend together? How many unique abilities would you like to see in the game? Let me know your ideas in the comments down below. And remember, again, like always, like, comment, and subscribe. And I would like to shout out those who support me over on the Patreon. Super fans like Luke Coetzee help me to keep making content.
content and get some uh, some better equipment to step up my quality a little bit. Links to all my socials will be down below as always. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Cheerio, mates.